Hello everyone and welcome to my tutorial on how to mod Starfield. This is going to be a basic tutorial on manually installing mods for Starfield. I will also include a reshade section and I will have timestamps in the video to make navigation much easier. And before you ask any questions in the comments, please watch this video all the way through because I will have a section at the end of the video on questions not to ask. And one last thing, if you guys enjoy this modding content, please consider subscribing to my channel because I plan on doing a ton of Starfield content videos. And with all that out of the way, let's grab jump into the video. Our first destination on this voyage is to visit the Nexus Mods website. And I will be providing links to many of these websites in the description down below. You will want to navigate to the Starfield mod webpage, and from there you can start downloading some mods. So with Vortex not necessarily working properly for many of these mods, I will be showing the manual installation for all the mods in this video. Many of the mod descriptions will have how to install each mod, so make sure you read the description first to make sure that you're up to downloading these mods. Next, simply click on manual and then slow download if you don't have the premium version. I don't have it either, so don't worry. Now that you have that downloaded in your downloads folder, you're going to want to make a new folder on your desktop, and I like to just call it Starfield Mods. Now that you have your Starfield Mods folder, open that bad boy up and make a new folder inside this folder called Mods. This is where you're going to be placing all your zipped files. And one more thing I forgot to mention, go download WinRAR or 7-Zip, it'll make this extracting process of the mods much easier. I use WinRAR personally. And the reason of putting all these mods in a folder is to just keep them organized, so if you ever need to uninstall something, you will have all the files available to you so you can see what files you need to delete. And also go over verifying the game integrity of the files later in the video. So the next step is to locate the drive where you have Starfield located. Go to Program Files 86. You're going to want to scroll down and find Steam and then click on that. And then you're going to want to scroll down and find Steam Apps. Open that file. And then you're going to want to look for Common. After that, open the Common folder. And this is for Steam users, sorry I should have clarified that earlier, but yes, you're going to want to find Common, scroll down, find Starfield, and from there you are going to create a shortcut for the Starfield game directory folder. Windows 10 users should just see a option to create shortcut, Windows 11 you will have to create a shortcut by clicking more options first. And then drag that shortcut into the Starfield mods folder you created on your desktop. Now you're almost ready to start installing your mods. And if you did everything correctly, your folder should look like this. Now real quick, I want to go over the Starfield script extender. In the past, Skyrim and Fallout have both had their own script extenders, and these mods just allow other mod creators to do more stuff with their mods, so I recommend that you get the Starfield script extender right off the bat because I know it's going to be useful later down in the road. I'm also going to be downloading a few other mods that I will be covering in this video. Well, playtesting I guess. Now back to the script extender. Like I said, many of the mods do have how to download them in the description, so make sure you check the description of every single mod, because it's not the same to download every mod, I'll let you know that right now. And for this script extender, how it works is you're going to be pulling the loader as well as this DLL file into the Starfield game directory. There is a readme file within the WinRAR folder, so there are instructions there. Pretty easy install, just pull those two necessary files into the Starfield game directory. And then to play Starfield from now on, you will click on this SFSE loader instead of running your normal shortcut to run the game. So what I like to do is go back to that loader that's in your game directory and create a shortcut for it and then simply pull that shortcut onto your desktop. 
and then delete your old Starfield shortcut exe file. Then simply just rename this program. I just named it SFSE, and you can also change the icon to something a little more appealing. Of course, I just want it to be the Starfield logo, so go to Properties, and then you can change the icon to whatever you'd like. I just went to Browse, and I found the Starfield game directory, and then just click on the Starfield icon, and it should change it for you. And then click Apply to apply all the changes. Now let's install our first mod, and I'm gonna do the DualSense PS5 icons. This one seemed to be pretty popular. I think that the game only does Xbox icons, even if you have a PS5 controller, so this is really nice for players that have PS5 controllers. Again, read the description for installation. It's telling you to put this text into the documents, my game Starfield, and then you're also gonna wanna pull the data files into the game directory. So first, let's create another shortcut. You're gonna wanna go to documents, and then look for my games. From there, look for Starfield and then make a shortcut for the Starfield folder. And I just put that shortcut into the Starfield mods folder for easy access. Now in the Starfield uh, documents folder or documents my game Starfield, you're gonna wanna create a new file called Starfield custom with a capital C dot I N I if you don't already have a folder with that same exact name. Now simply go back to the mod description, copy this archive, whatever scale thingy, and you're going to want to copy paste that into your Starfield custom dot I N I folder. This will allow the mod to work properly. Also, don't forget to save, otherwise it won't work, so just click File Save. I didn't do that in my footage, but it won't work otherwise. The next step for this sus suspicif suspicif su specific. Oh my god, why is that so hard for me to say? Yes, yeah, so next you will take the RAR file and open that up. Get that interface folder and that is going to go inside the game directory data folder so make sure you put it in that location otherwise the mod isn't going to work now for another mod this one is a little different it's actually going to go into the documents my game starfield data folder it also requires that custom ini folder so make sure you have that command as well Simply pull this data file into the data file located in the Starfield documents. Make sure, sure you have this text on the custom Starfield INI. And then this is the Batman flashlight mod. So it, in the description or in the readme text, that's where it told me to put this folder. I was putting it in the game directory. It wasn't working, obviously, because I wasn't following the directions. Now we've loaded up Starfield successfully and the bat signal. So now we can role play as Batman in space with our beautiful flashlight. Honestly, I hate the vanilla flashlight. It is awful. Bethesda, please fix. For now, the modding community has us because this Batman signal flashlight is literally 10 times better than the default one. So definitely check this mod out. You can also see that our PS5 or PS PlayStation button mod is also working. And I do recommend that you only install one or two mods at a time. I should probably take my own advice. This will save you a bunch of headaches in the future for installing mods. Now that you've successfully installed a Starfield mod, let's take a look at a reshade mod. This is a little bit different process. Make sure you download reshade first, and then go ahead and download your reshade preset. Again, pull your preset into the mods folder, open that RAR file up, and then you're going to want to open your game directory folder, the Starfield game directory and then simply pull this preset into the Starfield game directory. From there, you're gonna wanna go to the reshade application, run that bad boy, and search Starfield. 
Once you have located Starfield, go ahead and click next and then direct 10, 11, 12, and then click install. Mine says modify because I do already have it, but should be about the same. Then you're going to want to browse, go to the Starfield game directory, and simply click on that folder you dragged in there previously. Then you will want to click the next button. Some presets do have you click more options. I went to the description and in his installation process, he says just click next on everything. So you don't need to check any other boxes. So go back to the reshade program and then simply click next. And this should finish up the process. Now you should have reshade successfully installed on Starfield. Go ahead and run Starfield just to see if it's working. If it is, a bar at the top should pop up. If this is your first time installing Reshade, it will have a quick tutorial for you. And mind you, these presets are just all those boxes you clicked on the installation and they have the values adjusted to the person's liking. If you want to change anything, go right ahead. And what I like to do is have a toggle key. How you get into this menu is the home button, so you can press home to get in and out of this menu. And then I like to have a button to toggle my presets on and off, as well as a button to cycle through my presets. Another thing you can do is set a vanilla preset. So if you want the game to look like base vanilla, you can just go back to that easily. And for the keyboard shortcut, simply just go to the settings tab and set your key bindings. Now you can see here, I'm just cycling through my different presets. I think I had three different reshades installed and then I had the vanilla. So you guys can go check out some reshade mods. I did cover a real life reshade in my first mod video. So if that one looks good to you guys, please go check out that video. Now for Steam users, in the unfortunate event that you cannot get Starfield to run, go to Starfield in your library, go down to Properties, and then simply click on Installed Files. From there, go down to the bottom, and it should say Verify Integrity of Game Files. This will have Steam look through your game directory. If anything's out of place or if anything's missing, it should reinstall those files for you. So hopefully your game will work. So if your game isn't working, this is definitely one of the first solutions to look for. Now for some questions that I would like you guys not to put in my comment section. First off, don't ask me if this works for Xbox, PlayStation, etc. This is on PC. Also, don't ask me why a specific mod that I didn't cover in this video isn't working. Please refer to the description of the mod itself or the post tab. Odds are someone else is having your same problem, so there is a post tab on every single mod and people will type in their issues they're having and usually there is a solution in there so refer to that if you're having a problem installing a mod if one of these mods that i covered isn't working please re-watch my video a little slower because i do go quick at some points and make sure you're putting everything in the correct folders i did try to make this video as user friendly as possible so i hope it can help anyone that's never modded before or someone that's modded say skyrim or fallout but that it's been a while they needed a refresher this is just a manual installation hopefully vortex will support starfield better or if someone makes a mod manager for the game trust me i have a bunch of trouble installing mods it probably took me three to four hours of troubleshooting between this and my first mod video. With that being said, I do hope this tutorial helped you guys out. Please stay tuned to my channel because I will be making a lot more Starfield mod content. If this video helped you guys out, you can help me out by liking the video, sharing it with your friends, and subscribing to my channel. And as always, I hope you all are having a wonderful day. And I'll see you all amongst the stars. Peace out.